From the studios at Brentwood High School, you're watching the award-winning WBHS 9 News with Nathan Zonerich, Chad Barker, reporters Riot Abulrob, Justice Butler, and Asher Posey. WBHS 9 News starts now. Hello, Brown High School. I'm Nathan Zonerich. And I'm Chad Barker. Here's what's making news. Students and staff will be wearing masks to class and on the bus for several more months. The Williamson County School Board voted on Monday to extend the mask mandate for all schools through January 19th. That's the MLK Day weekend. Students can opt out with a note from their parents. Last week, senior students who are old enough registered to vote in the main lobby during lunch. Justice Butler has more. Last Wednesday, the school hosted a voter registration program. The Williamson County Election Committee had registration forms so that seniors could come and have their voice heard. We're here to register seniors to vote in the next upcoming election. They have to be 18 by election day. And so we have a form they can fill out or they can go online and register. We have information on voting and, and it's very important that they register to vote. Local elections are just as important as presidential because that takes care of you locally. The election committee expected a good turnout from Brentwood which provided a sizable number of young voters. It's very important to register to vote so your voice will be heard and if you complain you've spoken so. Politically passionate seniors finally have a chance to voice their opinions. So I'm voting just because once I turn 18, I'll be able to vote and have a say in my government and to influence future decisions. I'm registering to vote because I want to vote and be a part of the community. I registered to vote because I believe everyone should try to vote and I want to be one of those people. I'm excited to like make my first choice legally like as an adult. Finally, these students have an opportunity to change their community. Justice Butler, WBHS 9. All right, very good. It's not beginning to look a lot like Christmas just yet, but the holiday is now only three months away. After being canceled last year due to COVID, the Franklin Christmas Parade is back. It will be held Saturday, December 4th. The theme is Songs of the Season. The Brentwood High Band will be marching in the parade. AP Bio isn't just a TV show on the Peacock Network, it's also a class at Brentwood High. In Rachel Lytle's AP Biology class, students took part in what's called an Osmolarity of Water Potential Lab. On day one, the advanced placement students cut cores out of potatoes, took their masks, and placed them into varying concentrations of sources solutions, a type of sugar to sit overnight. The sugar solutions are dyed different colors, so only Miss Lytle knows which is which. The next day, students took the final mass to see how the potatoes changed. Based on that, students can identify which color of solutions was which concentration and calculate the potato's potential for absorbing water. Coming up, what's happening at this year's college fair? And updates on Brentwood High Sports. Generation. Every September, the Agricultural Expo Center hosts a college fair where over 100 colleges and universities come together to advertise themselves. A helpful resource for students unsure of where to go. Rieta Bullrob has more. From Alabama to Wolford, more than 115 colleges and universities are represented at the Williamson County College Fair. Admissions counselors from all over come to advertise their respective colleges to potential students. So I come to all these college fairs so to get to know you guys, the students, to of course get our name out there for our school and try to see if students are interested in what we have to offer at Belmont Abbey College. 
Uh, I came to the college fair uh, to hopefully connect with some students face to face. It's been a, a difficult couple of years not being able to have those really great conversations and so I've been able to meet uh, some students from, from this county area and, and, and spread some more information about Maryville College. Every college at the fair explains to students what they feature and answer any questions about classes, scholarships, costs, and more. I do believe that students should come to Belmont Abbey College because we are a smaller liberal arts Catholic school, so we like to develop the student as a whole. On top of that, we're located in a great area in Charlotte, North Carolina, so there's tons of opportunity to do. We have over 25 majors, under 50 minors, and room for growth in all areas of life. Um, we're also NCAA Division II. Uh, yeah, we're just a great school overall. The community is incredible so go Crusaders. Yeah so Maryville College is a small private liberal arts college about three hours away from here right outside of the Great Smoky Mountains National Park and all of our students receive a merit-based scholarship so you'll be starting off on a great foot financially and educationally at Maryville. Colleges are not the only ones making use of the fair. It's definitely giving me more information on how to base my decision as well as adding a few colleges to the list for good backup schools and other schools that I wouldn't have thought of otherwise. Uh, yes and no. It helps me better understand what colleges offer and how it would impact what I want to go into. The fair is open to all high school students and is something everyone should use. Ride a ball WBHS 9. Now let's see what's happening in Bruin Athletics. The golf team finished second in the district tournament two weeks ago and then went on to regionals at Two Rivers Golf Course. Girls Cross Country team won their meet at Chickasaw Trials Invitational with the boys coming second in their race. The girls then went on to win the Southern Showcase in Huntsville, Alabama. Their next meet will be at Jesse Owens Classic in Oakville, Alabama. The soccer team tied against Father Ryan 2-2 and beat Centennial 1-0. The football team got their first win of the season against Henry County 21-14 and then unfortunately lost to Ravenwood last week in the Battle of the Woods 21-16. They play Hillsboro tonight at 7. Once again, the volleyball team is off to a fantastic start this season with an overall record of 25-4 and, and an undefeated district record of 5-0. and Here to talk more about the volleyball team's success is senior Meredith Moody. So after legendary coach Barbara Campbell left last year, a lot of people got moved around and some new faces have been introduced to the coaching staff for the volleyball team. Do you think that's affected the team at all? I think that it has been had an effect on our team, but overall we've had a really seamless transition, um, especially since Co Coach Kathy has been a part of the program for a really long time, so we know her very well, and we've acclimated to losing Barb really well, I think. We've all had to step up a lot in the leadership role, but it, overall it's been really, it's been pretty seamless. So since we're about the halfway point of the season so far, what are your expectations for the rest of the year for your team? Well, I think that we had some questions like we weren't very sure if we were going to be able to pull off winning state this year I think honestly we were you know there were some doubts but after you know recent success and us showing up and beating people that we didn't know necessarily if we would beat I think my expectations for this year is basically just to get the 9p and to win state again and you know continue the streak right. so like I said, you are a senior on the volleyball team this year. What so far has been your favorite memory throughout all four years of playing for the Brentwood volleyball team? I think my favorite memory has been the bus ride home from state. I think it was my sophomore year um, where I didn't really play that much, but you know, being a part of that, we play music really loud and the Seagull bus was right next to us. And it was just a really, it was, we were all so hyped and it was so fun and Coach Campbell was like had earplugs in because we were so loud and it was just, it was awesome. We were so close and it was a great end of the season. Thank you so much to Meredith Moody for joining us today. The volleyball team's next game will be at home against Cookville at 6 p.m. on Monday. Thank you for joining us. I'm Nathan Zonerich. And I'm Chad Barker. See you next time on WBHS 9 News.